Hello, my name is Kiana. I'm a student nurse here at Nightingale College. I'm going to be performing my IV fluid and medication skills video. Uh, before I move forward, I want to show you guys my med mask. So here we have the fluids. Uh, the order is supposed to be just normal saline, 150 mLs over an hour. Um, so we have the 150 mLs here over 60 minutes. The drop factor, which was 15. Once you cross those off, you get 225. I mean, 2,250 over 60, uh, which comes out to 37.5. And we can't administer half a drop, so that's going to be 38 drops per minute. And then over to the right, we have the amoxicillin order here, uh, 250 milligrams IV in 100 mLs normal saline over 15 minutes. We have the drop factor again, that's 15, uh, the 100 mLs, and then we do the math, cross it. We have 1500 over 15, which leaves us with 100 drops uh, per minute. Before going into the patient room, I always want to make sure I have the right order in the Mars ordered by the physician and making sure that we have this six rights of medication administration, which is going to be the right patient, right time, right dose, right med, right route, and correct documentation, of course. Um, before I get into the patient's room, I want to go over the supplies I have here. Here we have the primary tubing, again with the 15 drops per minute, or the drop factor, sorry. And I know this is correct because it has the white port. Over here I have the piggyback tubing, again with the 15 drop factor. And this one does not have the white port and it also has the little hook to help um, the piggyback. Over here, I have our normal saline bag. And then I have the 100 ml normal saline bag with the amoxicillin included inside. Uh, and I would know this by verifying that it is on the bag. Okay, okay before going into the patient's room, always gonna do my hand hygiene and then don my gloves. I would come into the patient's room, introduce myself, and ask them to verify their name and birthday, uh, which is a part of the rights of the six rights of medication administration. After they can confirm so, I let them know about the order that's in place, which is going to be the 150 mLs of normal saline, as well as the amoxicillin at 250 milligrams over 15 minutes, and 100 mLs normal saline. Patient confirms yes, and they are alert and oriented to times four to receive the medication. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin. Tapping my bag. Over here, we have the spike chamber. I'm gonna keep this capped until I am ready to spike my bag. Over here is the drip chamber here. Um, here is the roller clamp. Here is the white port. This is where we connect the piggyback to. And this is the adapter which goes to the patient. The roller clamp helps us control the flow of the drops. Okay. The secondary tubing is essentially the same except there is no white port included. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spike my bag. I'm gonna remove the blue cap. I'm gonna make sure that this is clamped so that the fluids don't run out. Remove the cap. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. Go ahead and hang my bag. Making sure that it is 30, minute, 30 inches above the patient's IV site. Just 
gonna add some more fruit. Okay, and before I begin, I'm gonna make sure I fill up the drip chamber halfway. That way I can visibly see the drops going down. Very good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my tubing by slowly opening the roller clamp and removing this. And then I will be opening over a trash can so the fluids don't leak everywhere. Good. I'm just going to place this back on for now. Nice. Okay. And now I'm going to begin counting the 38 drops and I'm going to count for a full minute. I can control the flow again by using the roller clamp. Okay, I've counted the 38 drops for a minute. And from there, I can give this to my patient. I would just make sure I use alcohol swab to wipe both this and their port, and then connect the tubing to the patient. Okay, now getting ready to put on the piggyback. So just put this off to the side. And grab more tea. Okay, same thing as before. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap. Remove the cap here. And spike my bag. Oh, making sure that this is clamped. Okay. Okay. Very good, making sure it's clamped. Okay. And then I actually have to hang this above the primary bag. And of course, before even grabbing this medication, I wanna make sure that the patient is not allergic to amoxicillin, since that's a common allergy that people may have, okay? And after verifying the patient doesn't have the amoxicillin, I'm gonna prep the bag. So just like before, I'm gonna prime the tubing. So, not before I'm filling this up halfway, sorry. Now I'm just going to prime this very slowly because I don't want to waste the medication. Okay, very good. I'm just going to close this for now. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna connect it to the white port here. I'm gonna use the alcohol swab. ahead and let it dry for 15 seconds. Perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Just like so. Okay. And then now I'm gonna go count the 100 drops from this one and I'm gonna count for a full minute. And then I've counted the 100 drops. And from here, I'm gonna double check that everything's correct. I have the 150 normal saline, I have the 250 milligram amoxicillin, and 100 mLs of normal saline. This is gonna run for 15 minutes, whereas this one's gonna run for an hour afterward due to the gravity, okay? After confirming that and making sure, again, I have the right patient, we're checking their wristband as well. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to their IV port. And before doing so, I'm making sure I use alcohol swab uh, on both this and the IV port and connect it safely. And then I'll say thank you again to the patient. Remove my gloves. Do hand hygiene. Leave the room and make sure I document. And that's it. Thanks.